The Cadence theme is one of the best themes for WordPress that utilizes the Gutenberg block editor. And it has this hooked elements feature where you can design anything in Gutenberg and then hook it into different parts of your website, replace, put before or after the content and so on. Now, that is a powerful feature. Today, I'm going to show you how powerful it can be by using it together with advanced custom fields plugin, ACF, the most popular custom fields plugin out there. So you can see what it's capable of. Coming up. Hi, my name is Mr. Gecko and I'm helping you create better websites by giving you tips and strategies, both from the technical point of view as well as design. So, today we're looking at hooked elements in Cadence theme and how it works with advanced custom fields. So if you find value in this content, please give it a like button, hit subscribe and share it with some people that uh, may find it also valuable. So here we are at my client's website and we're going to go to projects. This is the heart of the website. So this is a custom post type that I created with a plugin. And here we have the archive for, for the uh, archive listing for the projects. And here I have a powerful uh, filtering mechanism here. You can sort results by some custom fields even or taxonomies and it will just search the custom post type, not the other things on, on, on this website. So if you, if you, uh, if you would like uh, me to show you how I did that, let me know in the comments down below and hit that like button if you haven't already. This is the time where you do that and subscribe. So uh, the thing is, I'm going to open a project right now and let's see, let's see one of the projects. So this is that, uh, uh, the, the, the project that's featured on the homepage. So here, uh, most of these things, like all of these things, the padding, the title, the featured image position, the size, the, the, the aspect ratio, uh, and all of this is just defined, the, the, the whole layout is defined in the customizer. So in the customizer, you go to custom post types, and then you have the archive page, and you have the single page layout. So here, most of the stuff is defined uh, from uh, what you're seeing here. Uh, and then let's see uh, when we uh, edit this project, let's see uh, how that looks. So for editing, I just have text and then I have the gallery. I'm using, by the way, for the gallery, I'm using the Cadence uh, Advanced Gallery block. Uh, and for my client, I'm, I'm predefining this so that they can enter it easily and saving it as uh, reusable blocks. Uh, if you want me to show that as well, I can. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, so as you can see here, we have text and gallery. And then here we have uh, we have project properties. Now this is done with ACF. These are the custom fields uh, that they input here. And these custom fields are then displayed here. But the trick is, when we go to edit project, there's nowhere uh, that, that this section is nowhere to be found. So what we do here is we inject this uh, section here, this layout here with information with hooked elements. So How do we do that? Before we do that, I have to show you uh, how I registered my things. So when you go to projects here, you can see there's categories, type of work, systems, glass types, and locations. These are tax custom taxonomies that I created, and they're all here, taxonomies, categories, type of work. I use the custom post type UI plugin for uh, creating this. You can use uh, tool set types, or that's the, the paid one, and it's the best one. You can use, also use pods or this one. Those three are just the most widely used, I think. So uh, there's that. And then on ACF, I have some other things. I, I do have these taxonomies, but I also have some text fields. For example, this one. This is just a text field. and uh, I have fields like this as well. So like this one, 
uh, this is the surface area uh, or the year of uh, construction. This is just a normal field. It's not a custom uh, taxonomy. So for that, we use just text. So as you can see here, I have five fields text and I have five fields that are taxonomies. Uh, the reason I use uh, ACF and not just uh, custom post type because I want also custom taxonomies and I want uh, custom fields. ACF is just there for creating uh, for you custom fields. So together they work well. So I use this project properties as the field group and I display it here in my uh, projects uh, sidebar. So uh, this is how uh, everything here is linked with the with 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 these uh, taxonomies and the fields so yeah there's that now in order to display them on this thing here we need to go to hooked elements so we go to elements uh, in the appearance tab cadence elements so i have uh, different things here going on and the project details is of uh, our interest currently so here I have designed uh, that whole section uh, however I wanted and I applied padding and everything to it uh, the way I wanted and then then here uh, you added the placement and I have put before entry content so uh, this is uh, just uh, uh, before the content that I enter in the Gutenberg block editor appears, it will appear before that entry content, but it will be after the featured image, of course, uh, by setting it that way. And display settings, I will show it on single projects and all of them. So uh, this is how it's going to display on, on my project single, on single projects uh, pages. But the trick here is uh, when this appears over there, it will actually fetch everything that's connected to that single project. So technically speaking, I'm, I'm allowed to use parameters for, from advanced custom fields. Uh, so this data here will be passed on and uh, hooked elements can use that because it will be tied to this page. So, uh, so here, when you use it, uh, ACF uh, fields have their own short codes. So if you have a text field, you can just put a short code ACF field and then uh, the name of your the name of your uh, field, and you have to you have to really uh, go there and. Uh, go by field names, uh, not not use uh, anything else, but how it's written here. So as you can see here, uh, this is the surface area. Let me just, uh, or let's just go to, well, surface area, surface area. Let me just, uh, sorry. Let me just go to that. So here, this is that name. This is the name. So you have to paste exact name of the custom field and it will then take the value from it. Uh, my problem was, if you can see here, I have ACF custom fields. So this is something that I personally created. This is my own plugin because some of these like taxonomies that have, uh, that have this thing going on here, uh, you can select multiple things in predefined fashion with checkboxes. So for these, I have a problem. It will uh, output an array uh, of values, not just uh, the, the string itself. So because there's many uh, things that I can select, it will output the array. So uh, with a custom plugin, I'm trying to, where am I? So I created a custom plugin uh, called So see, 
advanced custom field shortcode. This is something that I created a uh, enable shortcode for taxonomy field type of advanced custom fields plugin. If you want me to show you how I did this, I can as well. This is a customized for this client and this is how I can fetch uh, these fields that, that are taxonomies and as you can see, this one's text, so it's ACF field, the default from ACF plugin shortcode, and this is my shortcode. And what we do here is we hijack uh, the shortcode of ACF and just change some things in it to modify it to actually fetch the array and output it as a single string. So uh, in any case, for most uses, you will just uh, use ACF field and that will be enough for you. And yeah, that is the that is how I use uh, ACF custom fields uh, to map here in elements uh, and then display them in my project single pages and they appear. So yeah, uh, I cannot show you right now how my plugin looks like. It's uh, it's a bunch of code so if you if you really want to go that technical uh with it uh i can so let me know in the comments below if you if you need that uh, functionality and yeah if you uh if you're getting value out of this please consider subscribing if you haven't already hit that like button and share it with everyone who can benefit from this so uh i'll I'll be putting out uh, so much content regarding uh, Cadence Team and Gutenberg and uh, blocks and everything around that. So uh, stay tuned, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.